it's Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zomacat. And this is our review of the McFarlane Toys Avatar 7 inch scale Colonel Miles Quirch and the AMP suit. Or AMP suit. I forget how they say it. But Zomacat seems to think it was AMP. So. I could be wrong. It just seems like I remember AMP suit because that sounds dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might not say it much. Our first review was Jake. And they two together. Then we reviewed the two Banshees together. So figured these two should go together. Really, they should have been all in one pack. I don't know why they didn't just include them in there. But maybe there's going to be more characters they're going to make that you can stick in one of these. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But whatever. He needed that whole box. Yeah. It's, that is kind of weird. He's he's the same price as Nateri and Jake Suli. He really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Seems kind of weird. But he does come with a lot of accessories, I guess. I tiny accessories. But yeah, it's uh, they call it a seven-inch scale, but he's a four-inch figure. So really, I, I think this is a four-inch scale line. The Navi figures are seven-inch, and he's four-inch. I don't know, whatever. But a nice picture of him in there. AMP suit sold separately. In case you think it might be hidden in this package somewhere, <laughs> I don't see it in there anywhere. And there's the big. AMP suit box. I got I ordered mine straight from McFarland and it came like this. So I don't know what happened there. You can see the little oh, strings came loose. Yeah. But it doesn't look like anything is damaged. Well, you can see in there. Oh it looks like the black light works on this too. I didn't think it would. Well, that's cool. I'll try that out. It seems kinda of weird that it works on that since it's not there stuff yeah does anything work on him i don't know what it would be okay well let's get them out of there just need his butt glow all right there they are opened up after a lot of cutting the zip ties and little plastic strings they're all out see the big mech suit comes with a few accessories a really big gun that's bigger than him a really big knife an extra hand for Holding the gun. And then little tiny Colonel Quarch comes with an alternate masked head so he can breathe on Pandora. Comes a little coffee mug, a little handgun with some blast effects, a bigger gun with blast effects, a gripping hand, a punching hand, and a pointing hand, and a base. Well, first thing I want to do was compare the scale of them to the Navi people and just like in the movie he is very tiny compared to them so that's cool but the amp suit is bigger than them so he can feel like a tough guy I'm not compensated for something I just that's just what they gave me <laughs> he was hanging on there for a second oh man that was there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll look at little baby Miles first. He's an old guy, but he's, he's a little baby. One thing, when I seen this previewed, I thought, they didn't really give him much face detail. He looks too young. And I knew the figures were small, and I thought maybe that has something to do with it. But after seeing him in person, how tiny he is, I, can, I get why <laughs> that detail isn't on there. Mm. It's so tiny, like, it'd be hard to get that. He does look too young, though. Yeah, he does. When he zoomed way in, they're looking close. It seems like he's a bit older. But, he has a very tiny figure. He's got his scars. One of his most notable features is scars he got from one of the Pandora animals. He's got his tattoo. If only it would have ate his whole head. Yeah. Got his outfit. Tank top and the camo pants. It's really cool. Made him muscular like he is. It was kind of funny that I never thought about before. What? Judging by how far apart the scratch lines are his head, the size of the animal that scratched him would be like a house cat to the Navi. Yeah. Yeah, this figure's pretty cool for how tiny it is. It's got lots of articulation. Usually a figure this tiny these days 
I give them a lot of articulation. Although those are there are them expensive three and three quarter figures if you can find them, but they're I don't know, that, that, they're too expensive. So there's the Colonel next to a couple other smaller scale figures. We got three and three quarter GI Joes and the five inch Walking Dead figure. So that makes him about a four inch figure. I think that's what he is. Just measure him and see how tall he is. He's saying he's about four inches. Uh, we'll go get a ruler. <laughs> no. So there's a ruler. See, Lee there from Walking Dead is pretty close to five inch, and the Colonel is just a tiny bit over four inches. He's like four and an eighth. And then G.I. Joe, about three and three quarter, as he's supposed to be. And there's the Navi, because I didn't really do this in their video, but they're. They're both a little over seven inches. Yep. Jake Sully's almost seven and a half. And since we're measuring stuff, it looks like that's about nine inches to the roof of it and about ten and a quarter to the top shoulder plate thing. And here he is next to some actual seven inch scale figures. Got McFarlane's Peacemaker, WWE Austin, and a neck of Freddy. And here's some six inch scale figures, Black Series and Marvel Legends. And here he is next to Chucky and Tiffany, seven inch scale figures. Since they're dolls, they're actually pretty close to his height. And he also goes pretty well with the Puppet Master figures. Although you'd have to kind of pretend that the Colonel is a puppet. That's how I switched his head to his mask head. And there's little pack plugs into his butthole. And I put his gun into his holster and his other gun into his hand. That's cool. I like that he has this. That suck if he didn't come with the alternate mask head because then he wouldn't be able to be outside on Pandora. Mm -hmm. but put this little blast effect in there. Translucent fire. That's pretty cool. There he is holding it with two hands, firing it. Just the exact sound it makes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there he is with the handgun and the blast effect in it. Quonk, 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 quonk. That's not it. There he is drinking a cup of coffee while there was a severed head had dangling from his butt. <laughs> I'm not sure what hand you're supposed to put the coffee in. A pointy hand. I'm not sure. I'm lying. Oh, I thought you meant this pointing because it's pointing. No, pointy hand. Let's get this thing out of his bottle. It's a gun hand. Well, yeah, he's got a pointing hand. Oh, that's the other hand. <laughs> yeah, pointing hand. So he can yell at people because he does that. Mm hmm. And a fist. So he can punch people, because he probably does that too. I think he does do that in a movie, don't he? Doesn't he punch one uh, of the... I think he might. One of the people it's running, been the, so long. running the controls or whatever. That's cool. So his head's on a ball joint. Go around pretty good. Oh, he's, I didn't think he had a butterfly joint, but he does. That's a little tiny figure. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goes up like that. Been the top of the bicep. It's got double jointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do. It's so tiny. Double At least jointed. they're just popping apart and not breaking. <laughs> yeah. Double jointed elbows. Look at that. Touch his own arm with his arm. <laughs> then there's a hinge. Then it's spin. Then it's torso. Move around pretty good there. It hips. Well, this is detached, so it just <laughs> it doesn't. That would suck if it was attached up there because that would really limit the articulation. Double jointed knee. Very tight. And then the boot could spin. And there's a hinge. And he even has toe articulation. He's got a lot of articulation. He's a 
super tiny figure. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. That's just weird, like coming from McFarland. He used to be known for no articulation. Mm, it's pretty impressive for his size. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess we can look at that mech. So there's the mech suit. The AMP amp, whatever. But it is, the sculpt on this is insane. Lots of little like rivet holes and, and there's so much going on. Like even like right there, there's little tiny holes and things in there. Got a nice like sort of rusted looking paint job on there. Highlights showing that it's metal. They're supposed to be metal on there. Yeah. That's really cool. You even have a little windshield wiper. <laughs> yeah, this thing is very, very detailed. It's kind of impressive. It's one of the ones where there's like so, the sculpt is just so good. And people could probably touch this up and make it even better mm -hmm. if they're good at paint. It's pretty impressive. And this I think opens up somehow. Well, it has to open up somehow. <laughs> Just gotta figure out how to do it. So it opens up like that. You can see in there. It's got a human hole. Yep. I think so we should be pretty easy to put them in though. Yeah. Like deep hole in there. Stick his feet down in. It's got these strange looking feet. Tread on them. That's really cool. I'm gonna stick him in there though, because I'm just waiting to do that. I'm not sure. I don't think he wears the mask when he's in there because I think it's he's protected in there. So I'm gonna put him in there without the mask. So there he is in the mech. And you can't just stick him in there with his legs straight, you have to bend him a little bit. I even tried popping his legs off and then sticking him in, but that makes him too low. But I think he's good right now. Yeah, it's fine. That's cool. There's no controls in there. I mean, there's control screens and stuff, but there's no, like, handles or nothing. So Zombie Cat was looking up because we couldn't remember how he controlled it. But he basically has power gloves <laughs> from, like, Nintendo. He puts on to get to control it. So to do that, they would have had to, like, give him some extra hands, maybe extra arms to show that. He should also have, like, a little harness thing on, though. Yeah. Which, I mean, we could make that if we wanted to. We gotta get his weapons on. Try this big old machine gun first. I think it's huge. You got a knife on it. A lot of bullets. Very flexible too. And there he is holding his gun. Big giant gun. And then his uh, ammo belt wraps around here. Goes all the way back and attaches here. And it also his giant knife goes into there. And there he is with the gun out. Shooting it. There he is holding a knife. <laughs> what? I can't just say knife. I say kniffy. He has a little quirch. His name's on there. Quirch M for Miles. To say Beyond Glory. But yeah, want to do uh, articulation on this thing? It's got some weird shoulder articulation there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then here there's a, a spinny. <laughs> then right there goes up like that. And then down to the elbow can spin. Something like that. And the wrist just spins. The hinge there. And this can turn. Very tight joint. With the clickities. If you can't tell, but there's clickities happening. <laughs> then it looks like there's a ball joint at his hips. Oh, but it also does that. Very tight oxygen in place so you don't fall over as easily. And then the knee. Another tight one with little lucky things. Oh man, it's hard to move. There we go. It's hard to get a grip on that. It's good that all those are so tight though. Yeah, that's cool. 
That'll be ankle. Where's that turn? I'm not sure if it's supposed to turn or not. But I think that's all the articulation. Well, there's the... There's this that opens and closes, but you've already seen that. He had the baby. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to show this because this is... Uh, it's so important that the leg joints are tight because this guy just kind of like... He just kind of like falls over. <laughs> His legs are not very good. <laughs> He's so tiny, but he can't, <laughs> can't stand up like this big thing. You have to. Well, he's supposed to have his legs. The legs of this are supposed to be like kind of bent when he stands still, but he won't stand like that. You have to put him straight. So there's the mech suit next to the Navi people with him in there. And you can see they're now looking small. He looks looks like, like a leprechaun. Yeah. There's Jake trying to hold that giant gun. It's even too big for him. There he is on the knife. It's not quite as ridiculous. You could probably use that. Yeah. And there's the mech next to Hikiri's Banshee. Just to get an idea of how big they are next to each other. That's my name! And there's a G.I. Joe in there. So three and three quarter scale GI Joes fit in there. I think they actually fit better than Miles does. Well, I'll try to stick a Walking Dead figure in there. He doesn't really fit very well. You can't close the lid. <laughs> Here's the black light features. It's not as cool on him as it is the Navi. Lights up his little screen there. And then, I guess it lights up his screens in here, but that's, that's tough to see. So... Not really that big a deal that his screens light up. So, I really like both of these figures. They did a really good job on little teeny tiny miles. For as small as he is, he's got lots of articulation. Mm -hmm. He's got some nice options with his hands and head. And different weapons. His little coffee mug. And I really like the AMP suit. The big mech. That is really awesome. So much detail on the sculpt. The paint is alright. It's not bad. I like his really big gun, the very flexible bullets, and his big knife that goes in the sheath. And the articulation on that thing is really cool too. A little tough in spots, but it needs to be tough so it uh, doesn't fall over with loose joints. Yeah, it really needs to be stable, especially since it didn't come with a base. Yeah. But it's pretty sturdy. Yeah. Uh, the only tiny gripe that I have is that he doesn't fit in there as well as it seems like he should. Seems like he should sit down in there a little further, but he's a little too tall. But uh, maybe he's just, just not doing it right, I don't know.
like it. I think they did an excellent job on this. I've been liking this whole line so far of the seven inch figures or four inch depending on how you look at it. And I can't wait for them to make some more. I haven't announced any more seven inches yet, but I'm sure they will soon be so. I think they should make another version of him where he's all bloody with his head chopped off. This doesn't <laughs> happen in the movie, but I wanted it to. Well, you can buy another one and pull his head off. <laughs> Paint your own blood on it. <laughs> well, it's Mr. Steve Cheese. And I'm the bucket. Thanks for watching and goodbye. I'm a little mean man in a big mean mech. Gonna shoot you in the face and send you to heck. I'd rather say hell, but it don't rhyme well. So I said heck, cause it rhymes with mech. Hey! Huh? Who was that? Oh, it's you. You're Jake Soothies girl, aren't you? All you blue people look the same to me, so I'm not quite sure. What do you want? I want the fighting to stop. We can just shake hands, and you can have the rocks that you want. You think I trust you? You're lying. We do not lie on this planet. Oh, that's right. I remember the doc saying something about that. Well, if you'll let us have that unobtainium, then I guess it's a deal. Okay, but you gotta shake on it. Fine, hold on. You better not pull any tricks either. I won't. All right, let's shake on it. Okay. I got good reflexes though, so you better not try anything. Ah, what are you doing? You said you guys don't lie. Oh yeah, I did. I lied about that. What? Yeah, you killed a lot of our people, destroyed a lot of our planet, so um, I'm gonna do this now. Ah! Ah, uh, you get down here. I'll kick you to death. Oh? No, I don't think you will. Ah, uh, let go. Let go of me. I will, in a second. Ah! Oh, calm down. We're almost done. Ah! Ah! Well, I guess that's all I want to talk to you about. That was a really nice chat. Well, I'm going to go see what Jake's doing. Maybe play with some of that unobtainium. <laughs> you get back here. I can still fight. It's just a flesh wound. I'll bite your ankles.